Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a PDF that is typeable. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to type inside your PDF and send it to your clients or your, your friends so that they can type whatever information you want from them. If you're new here, my name is Steve from stevingency.com. I create two videos a week, one video for personal development like this one, and the other video is usually about health and nutrition. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a, a new video. Without further ado, let's get into this. I'll go into the screen capture and we can uh, see how to do this. Okay guys, as you can see, I'm on the homepage of canva.com. So if you haven't got an account yet, you can sign up there at canva.com and then uh, once you signed in, you'll be on this page. Or I'll leave the link down below of canva.com where you can sign up for free. It's a free account and you've got all these uh, templates for free. And obviously, if you want more templates and, and more things to play around, you need to go to Canva Pro, which I'll also leave the link down below if you want to um, uh, try that for 30 days for free and then uh, that will be really really great for you um, like I was saying before you need to create the PDF uh, so that you can then go and make it fillable and send it to your clients or to your um, you know people that you want them uh, to type information that you need or even for yourself as well so let's do that I've already got a P um, PDF that I have it's an ebook that uh, is in a uh, um, in a PDF format, uh, I did this ebook on uh, resilience. So I think uh, I've put a, a section in page uh, yeah, here, page six. So this is where I want uh, people to write notes. That, uh, once they've finished the chapter, they can write the notes uh, summarizing the chapter there. So what I will do, I'll put um, a rectangular uh, area here so that they can be able to type on that. I've done that on every page, like on every chapter at the end of it so you can summarize the um, what you've learned in the this ebook so let's do that now what i will do to get that uh, there i'll go to elements uh, in the element section i'm going to need a square uh, this is the square uh, in the element section you go to graphics and then it, um, you go to uh, lines and shapes you know it's up to you uh, but I, I think this is the best way to do it uh, go up to element and then go to lines and shapes and then select square so the square as you can see when you click on it it pops onto your canvas there and then you can resize that so you can resize that how you want it the length of uh, where you want uh, uh, someone to type the information that you want so see how you go whether uh, you can move it around to make sure it's in the middle you see that purple line come up to show it's in the middle can increase the size a little bit as well by just dragging um, up and down you know side just to make sure it fits how you want it and then i'll change the color there just so it doesn't stand out like that uh, i can make it white it will just be too white i'll just just uh, they can see there's something there uh, so i think that looks good let's see how it looks yeah so that looks good then uh, you know you can do that in all the sections that you have in your uh, pdf where you want people to um, to leave information so what we'll do now i'm gonna go to um download a button there um, on this download button so i'll print it as um, pdf standard uh, so that i can come and show you guys and i want to select the single page that i want uh, this is page six i think um, so i'll select that page and this is the one that i'm going to download um, so it's going through there and then um, I'll get through that so that is the uh, the pdf there uh, it's already so the next thing now that we are going to do is to find a place where we can uh, make it uh, typeable or fillable that's where um, pdf escape comes in so you cannot go to a website called pdf you just go to google and then type pdf uh, escape it should come up a yeah, pdf escape and then it will be the first one to come up there and it's a free amazing free uh, um, site where you can uh, do a lot of things so i'll go to that one there then it opens up this page here so this is where the magic happens and so you're gonna have to get your pdf uh, that you downloaded into that um, um, that area there and before i do that let me show you let me open that pdf so that you can see that um, section uh, that we created so you see i can't type here as you can see i can't type anything so i want you to see that uh, so that you, you definitely know this is um um you're gonna work <laughs> so i uh, will find it. it should be on my computer somewhere so i'll click choose file 
Uh, and then uh, let me see the downloads for today. This is the it is, and then I'll open it. Okay, as you can see, um, that uh, PDF is uh, uploaded now. Uh, is uh, this is the section that we want there, and uh, it will, if it's many pages, it will they will all come here. So you do each page at a time. So now the next thing to do, I'll just bring this up the section there. And then uh, what I will do, I will go to um, uh, form field. Uh, then there's a box that will come up. So then I will select the text paragraph here and then select. And then what I will do, uh, you can click on here or you can just uh, drag, uh, uh, click on the space and then drag along so but I'll just click on there then I'll bring this small box there then it's going to guide me to the area that I want um, the person to type in so as you can see so um, you yeah, don't want it to go over so that's just it so then what you can do now you can come up onto the uh, top uh, toolbar you can change the font that you want um, uh, the person to type with or that we're going to use i'll just choose uh the dana and then the font size i'll go to 14 and that's it really that's all you you do uh, but uh the last thing that you need to just um um right click onto that and then go to um object properties and then select make sure uh, multi-line is selected because what you want is selected here. That's okay. It's okay. What you want is when the text, the last letter comes there, uh, the next one will go um, up here. So that's why it says multi-level. And that's it. Once you have done that, then you can go to this green button here. If maybe you are working on another uh, page, you can hit the save button and then move to the next page. Uh, but otherwise, you just hit the green um, download button there. So it will uh, download that. I uh, save and download and then I'll open it up here so that you can have a look at it. So it's opening up as you can see. Let's take it down there and then let's try. As you can see now I can type. Uh, I can type now. This is amazing. Hmm. Amazing work. Uh, so this is it guys. Um, if you've got any other questions, uh, uh, please let me know. And uh, if you want me to do the full like a document with uh, like the bullets and the lines that you need people to type on, I can do that as well. But um, let me know. This is just the basics to show you that uh, there is more that you can do with PDF Escape combining with Canva where you create your PDF. Uh, I hope this um, is, uh, is fun <laughs> or you'll be fun for you guys. Um, yeah, so you've got all these different uh, things that you can uh, create if you've got the bullets, you've got, um, you know, the lines and everything where you want uh, the whole PDF to be typable and sent out. Alrighty, uh, have fun. Uh, let us know how you get on and uh, I'll be happy to hear uh, your take on that. And that's it guys, that's how you can create a fillable PDF using Canva and PDF Escape. These are free tools that you can use, anyone can use and uh, they make life easy uh, for everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Uh, leave a comment below if you've got any questions, guys. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. You take care. Bye.